When Google advertises its virtual assistant, the main input method is done by using your voice. The company has set up Google Assistant so that it activates when you say the phrase, OK Google, or Hey Google. And then you get a prompt where you get to ask or say a task that you want completed. Having things done in a hands-free way has been a major convenience for the platform. And it's fair to say that this is how most people interact with Google Assistant on their smartphone or tablet. But we can also use a keyboard to type in commands and ask it questions if we wanted to. You'll notice that when Google Assistant is activated, you're gonna see a keyboard icon down there at the bottom right. And you can see after we tap that button, it's going to bring up a keyboard where we can type out the question or task that we would like Google Assistant to complete. It doesn't matter if the Google Assistant is activated via the microphone icon right there, or if we say the OK Google hot word, we're still gonna get this keyboard button down there at the bottom right. While this keyboard icon is very useful, having to tap it each time Google Assistant has been activated isn't ideal or convenient for those who do not want to interact with the Google Assistant using their voice. Thankfully though, there's a setting that we can change that will switch the default input method of Google's vo virtual assistant from voice input to text input. This can be done by first opening up the settings application, then tapping on the search box up there at the top, searching for assistant settings, and then selecting this assistant settings option that pops up. Now we're going to want to scroll through this big list of options until you see the general setting. And then from here, you can see we have a feature labeled preferred input. By default, this should be set to voice but it can be easily changed to text input by selecting the keyboard option. Now, when Google Assistant is activated, you're no longer going to need to tap the keyboard option in order to bring up the keyboard so that you can type in the question or task that you want Google Assistant to complete. It won't matter if the Google Assistant is activated through the microphone icon here, or if you say the hot word phrase, OK Google, you're still going to be given the keyboard as the default way to type in your command. You can still switch over to voice input by tapping on this microphone icon if you wanted to but this is optional and will no longer be the default input method after that setting has been changed. And as always, if you ever wanted to switch things back to how they were, we can do this by going back to the general section of the Google Assistant settings and changing the preferred input method from keyboard back to voice.